and welcome back to Get The Gloss. I hope you guys are doing well. It's very hot today. I hope you're having a lovely summer. Um, I'm working most of the time on Get The Gloss. But um, hopefully sometime soon I'm going to get a holiday. Anyway, welcome to this vlog. Today I'm going to talk about my evening skincare routine. The other day I spoke about my morning skincare routine. Um, I have to be honest, they're not vastly different. Even though I'm a beauty editor and I'm the editor of Get The Gloss, I'm not really, really um, ridiculously precious about what I use on my skin. I mean, I wouldn't obviously use anything I thought was bad for my skin, but you might think that I have like a 10 step skincare routine um, and you'd be totally wrong because I don't. Because I'm a huge believer that you need to really, really simplify your beauty routine, otherwise you can have breakouts and if you apply too many products and muck around with your skin too much it can cause you all sorts of problems such as um, breakouts, adult acne um, and broken veins etc etc so I think you've got to be very gentle with your skin and simplify it um, in fact whenever I've spoken to dermatologists if ever anyone has a skin problem when that person goes to see the dermatologist the dermatologist gets them to strip their skincare routine right back and they tell them to use something like Cetaphil, which is a pH balance pharmacy product. Um, it's like a moisturiser and a cleanser. It's very, very simple, no fragrance, nothing. And they tell them to use that and they try and work out what's causing their skin problem. Anyway, so evening skincare routine for me is quite basic. Um, also, normally before I go to bed, I don't have time to do a 10 step skincare routine. Um, and I'm often too tired, anyway, as most people are. Um, so first up, I will remove my eye makeup. Um, now, I know there are lots of expensive eye makeup removers, especially, um, a, lot, a lot of my friends use really expensive ones, and they're always quite shocked to hear that I really love this Nivea eye makeup remover, but I really do love it. I love this, and I love Simple. I don't like the oily um, eye makeup removers because I find they leave a sort of a film in your eyes that makes it really hard to see afterwards and that you have like a misty film in your eyes. Absolutely can't bear that. So I like these, they're a little bit like water. I also love the smell of this. I absolutely love the smell of Nivea, always have done. Um, and it feels like you're cleaning your eyes with something very simple and uh, not aggressive. So that's why I really like that. Also if I use an oily one, I think it can make my, I go to sleep with a bit of oil in my eyes, I think it can make them puffy by in the morning. So if you're prone to that, maybe switch your eye makeup remover for a non-oily one, one of these sort of water-based one. So I remove my eye makeup remover with that. Um, next I will wash my face. I'm a big fan of wash-off cleansers and I have to say I do like a little bit of foam. Um, I've tried every type of cleanser out there, the milk ones that you take off with a cotton wool pad. I'm afraid, I, don't, I know some people might really like that, but I don't really like that because I feel like you're leaving kind of moisturiser on your skin or something. I, I've tried lots of hot cloth cleansers. Probably one of my favourites, I would say, is the Lizal hot cloth cleanser. Um, I don't really like the oily ones that much. I find them, I find them a bit oily and a bit greasy and that the Lizal one isn't. It's more of a cream that you massage into your face. So I like that, but my favorite thing of all is a wash off cleanser. Now I'm a big fan of these um, sort of foaming mousses. This is by um, a skincare company called Institute Esthederm. I believe it's available in, available even, in Space NK. And it's just very gentle on my skin. It's called Pure Cleansing Foam, and I apply it all over, rub it in with a bit of water, and wash it off. And it leaves my skin feeling very clean without feeling dry or, you know, squeaky or like it's about to crack. So, I love those. Um, once a week, I might apply this Refine and Porish Miracle Balm by Aurelia. Um, this is a beautiful skincare brand. It's absolutely gorgeous. Actually, their cleanser is actually really amazing. 
and I believe that American Vogue both voted it as one of the best cleansers ever to have been invented, which is praise indeed. Anyway, this is um, an enzyme polish. So it not only contains little kind of granules that dissolve as you rub it in, um, but it contains enzymes that when you leave, you have to leave it on for a few minutes, and little enzymes sort of almost nibble away at lots of the dead skin cells on your skin. Um, leave it on for a couple of minutes and then give it a rub and you'll feel that the granules sort of slightly disappear and they're not harsh on the skin. Some exfoliators are too harsh which can scratch the skin, um, can cause breakouts and can cause broken veins if you really scratch too hard. So this is amazing, it also smells of chamomile, eucalyptus, rosemary and bergamot so before you go to bed it's like a sensory sort of heaven, it's gorgeous. But I probably only use this once or twice a week, um, basically when I remember. Um, as you can tell, I'm not totally religious about it all. Um, I never sleep in my makeup though. That is one thing that my mum always said to me, never sleep in your makeup, and I never ever do. Sometimes, because I've got kids and things, I'll fall asleep on the sofa, or I've been known to fall asleep in my kid's bed, and I'll wake up, and the first thing I'll do is I'll go and clean my face. If I can't bother to wash it, I use what's called a micellar water, which is like a cleansing water. Take off my eye makeup and the rest of my makeup with cotton wool pads. And that, that leaves you feeling quite clean. Um, anyway, after my cleanser, normally, I normally use a serum. And this is Clinique Smart Serum, which I've mentioned before, which is a state-of-the-art, super crazy, genius serum that um, basically targets the problems you have with your skin. So if you have, say, pigmentation, it will target that. If, you have, if you're prone to breakouts, it will target that. If you need cell renewal, it will target that. If you have lines and wrinkles, it will target that, etc, etc. It's very clever. Um, so I have started using this last month. I think it's really good. I think my skin is looking and feeling good. Um, and sometimes in the summer I just use that. Other times when I feel my skin needs it, I will use a moisturiser as well. Now this is super expensive, but I have to say, one of the most amazing moisturisers I've ever tried. It's called the Regenerating Ultimate Elixir from Lancome. Apparently each pot contains like thousands of rose petals. Um, it's absolutely amazing. I think it contains stem cells as well, which help rejuvenation. Um, they, they have worked out that uh, after tons and tons of research that the rejuvenation that happens within a stem cell of a rose can also happen within the skin. Um, it smells amazing, um, but it costs a lot of money. I'll put the price below this vlog because I can't remember quite how much but you might be staggered. But, um, so I use it very, very sparingly. Don't think that I slap this on all over myself every day. Um, I don't. Um, and you really don't need a lot of this at all. But I do think this is one of those very expensive skincare uh, products that really actually is worth the money. Um, it's really beautiful. It smells amazing. And if you wear it in a day, it also gives the skin a bit of a glow. Um, so it's gorgeous, it smells of divine rose petals, um, yeah, it's just beautiful. It's like the sort of ultimate Lancome product, it's the piece de la resistance in the Lancome range. Um, yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, anyway, so that, and then I just zonk off to sleep. If, uh, if I'm feeling particularly awake, I might have a bath before I go to bed, and I might use an aromatherapy oils, uh, sorry, aromatherapy associates bath oil, probably deep relax, that will literally sort of knock me out for the night. But literally, that's it. Um, also, if I'm feeling very pale, sometimes I might use a um, self-tanning product instead of, say, a moisturiser at night. Um, one of the best for overnight, I think, is James Reed's Sleep Mask Tan. I haven't actually got it right here, but I've got it upstairs. And... Uh, Yes, you put it on at night and then you wake up looking all bronzed and glowy. So that's a really good tip off. But I'd love to hear about your skincare regimes. If there's 
anything today that you wanted me to answer or if um, I can help with anything or if you want any other recommendations please um, put your questions below this vlog and um, I'll see you next week. Thanks a lot, bye!